everyone, what's up? It's Katrina here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we talk about productivity, self-development, career, and uh, life. So if all of that gets you going, let's be friends. So I live in the Bay Area and we're about our second month into quarantine, maybe a little bit more than that. So unless you are living under a rock, on a different planet. You know that the whole world is shut down right now. Everyone's in quarantine. I mean, I guess at the time when I'm filming this, there are some countries that have opened up already, but that's besides the point. Most of the workforce has gone completely online. And so one of the big things that I've learned from quarantine is how important your workspace setup is. I didn't notice this at first when I was going into the office, but who knew that there was a reason why people are more productive at the office then at home. So for an entire month, I've been slowly putting together this work from home setup that not only made it possible for me to work from home, but also made me want to feel like working from home. So as you can see from my background, here is a glimpse of my setup, but we're going to dive right in, break down my home setup and give you some inspiration on how to have your work from home setup work for you. Did I just come up with that? Anyways, this intro is already way too long. Let's get into the tour. All right, friends. So this is my current work setup situation. Um, it's not the cleanest, um, but boy, do I get a lot of shit done. Um, so we're going to start off with like the least exciting part, and that would be this side right here. Um, so I have this cart that I got from Ikea and it has all of my desk stuff and all of my stationery. So I have all my pens, highlighters, scissors, um, tape, um, other papers. I sometimes keep my notebooks here and stuff too. Pretty much put everything stationery related here. I even have some like skincare stuff because my vanity is just full and I don't need any more skincare things. The bottom tier I just have snacks and tissues. I never knew how life-saving it would be to have tissues at an arm's length from my chair because during Zoom meetings sometimes my nose will start running if I'm talking too much so I'll just like reach for it. Um, and I don't even need to break eye contact. It's kind of great. At the bottom tier is all my plant stuff because all my plants are here. And then next I have this calendar where I put important dates. I even have like my bills, some pictures. I mean my calendar, I try to leave this kind of empty except for like really big things that I need to remember. Even though it just looks like a bunch of names on the calendar, like it all means something. I mostly just use this calendar to look over my shoulder really quick to see what day it is. Next up we are at my shelving area um, and I'm just gonna focus on these two shelves because these are the ones that I like really um, use. So this is all my makeup, ignore that. Um, but I have like some plants and books and honestly like I'll just put random shit on my desk and just put it there um, if I just want less clutter. So my glasses case will be there, my pens, books, chargers will be everywhere on this shelf, but I cleaned it up for y'all. And then down here I have my printer, which is right next to my laptop which is awesome. The cord isn't really long, so it really helps. And then in here, I'll store some more like chargers. Like you can see my other Mac charger there. My controller for the Switch is there. Uh, but I'll put like, I used to put like my second laptop on here um, because, you know, I'm lazy and storage. So now we have made it over to my desk. Um, so <laughs> it's right next to my bed. So this is my chair. Um, it is an office chair with a blanket on it and a little cushion on it for extra height. But then here is where the magic happens. So this is my current desk setup. It's super minimal, very clean. So this is my monitor, which is actually a TV. It's a 24 inch Vizio. I just wanted a small TV in my room at one point. I never really used it for TV. So now it's a second computer monitor. So next up right here, I have my Elgato key light. And this is what I use to like, kind of light my zoom videos a little bit better. Um, I also use it to light my background because sometimes in my videos, my closet area is just super dark. So I just like to have this light on, it's super handy. As you notice, I don't have a table lamp. Um, so sometimes I'll use this key light as a table lamp. <laughs> After that, I have my laptop here. This is the 2015 MacBook Pro. Um, this was given to me for work. It's my work laptop and it's pretty chill. I 
am an avid Mac user. It also has a lot of storage, which I didn't realize. And then I have my laptop propped up on this little laptop stand. It's super sturdy, I really like it, and I really love that there's this bottom compartment here. Originally, like, I think the original idea for it was to keep it, um, keep my keyboard in there, which I still do, but I figured, like, what's all that space for just this keyboard? It's really small. This is the Apple Magic Keyboard, the new one. Um, look how thin it is. It is amazing. I love this keyboard so much. Here I have my Apple Magic mouse, and then I also have this mouse pad that has plants on it because I am a plant mom. Yes, your eyes are not fooling you. There are two MacBooks right here in this setup. Um, so like I said, this one is my work laptop. I did not pay for this one. It is a rental <laughs> But this one down here is my personal laptop. This is the MacBook Pro 2017 without touch bar ever since I got my work laptop. I actually stopped using my personal um, Because everything I do is now revolved around work. Um, so Yeah, so the laptop just like sits there for now and then I'll put the keyboard over it and books or something. Here I also have two external hard drives. This one is a four terabyte and then this one is a one terabyte and they're both from Western Digital and I, these two things are like my lifeline. I love them so much. Um, the big one is stored for like archived files where it's something that I need to save but aren't actively using right now. This one stores a bunch of files that I'm currently working on right now or things that I need to do a quick grab and go. Um, and I use this one every day. So next over here I have two books. Who is texting me? So over here I have two books that I use all the time and sorry for all the shadows. Like the sun just decided to like do this to me anyways um so here are the two books that i use the most this is my passion planner i use it every day it's my daily planner this is the notebook i use to just take notes um for like meetings and stuff oh my goodness i refer to these two things every single day either they will be inside this little cubby right here or i'll just prop them on the side like you saw earlier um, right in between my laptop and plants. So behind my TV actually, I have the Switch. It's the Animal Crossing New Horizons themed um, Nintendo Switch and I do have Animal Crossing. So the reason why I keep it behind my TV versus in front or like on the shelf or anything is because I don't wanna see it at work. Like if I just had this out here on my desk, Animal Crossing would literally be calling me all the time. It's not even funny. Like look, I'm just subconsciously turning on Animal Crossing right now and I feel like I would be so distracted. So that's why I just keep it right behind my desk all nice and cozy so that it's out of sight, out of mind, and I can focus on getting my work done. So that's pretty much my work setup in a nutshell. I hope you all liked it and I hope you all get some inspiration and ideas of how to have your work set up. I know this is like pretty basic, but in a small space like mine, I kind of have to keep it basic and minimal and not have something super fancy. So for those who have a tiny space and don't have much room, um, I hope you found something useful. Oh, sorry, last thing. This table is from Ikea. It's the Linman Adils table and it's the next size up from the small one. I don't know what it is in inches, but whatever the small one is, it's the next size up from there. And they also have different sizes and lengths and you can customize the legs and stuff too, so. Yeah, just a basic table. All right, friends, so that is it for my workspace tour. I hoped you all liked it, got some inspo from it. So if you're curious about any of the gear that I used, I leave all links down below in the description, so check that out. Also, while you're down there, and now that YouTube moved up the comment section, leave a comment on what your current work situation looks like. Do you have a full-on setup, or do you just work from your bed? And no shame if you're working from your bed, because the first three weeks of this quarantine that was me. Lastly, if you liked this video and you're feeling nice, hit that like button and subscribe for more content just like this. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!